can y'all tell if we are live? Are we live on the internet? It's still not showing up. Yeah, I still have Doug Hands. Doug Hands. Mm -hmm. Live chat. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, my, my phone says I am live on the internet, so I, I, I guess I am here. Uh, hello, friends. Uh, uh, happy Friday, everybody. It has been a day and an evening and I wanted to uh, to just jump on here and just hang out with all of you guys and have a nice little conversation because I have a story. You guys will not believe what has been going on over the past uh, little bit. I am joined here uh, off camera by, by Megan, uh, my wife. Hello. And thank you, Mark. I am live. It's always good to be alive, especially on a Friday. And our good friend John's hanging out. So they're going to look at... <laughs> <laughs> they are going to keep track of your question. If you have questions for me, put them in the comments and uh, we will flag them and bring them up. But first, this is the story, y'all. So today is November 12th, 2021. It is the 50th anniversary of the release of Nursery Crime by Genesis. Uh, that album was released. Their third album was released on November 12th, 1971, 50 years ago today. So we planned to do, hey, we haven't done a, a full album reaction in a long time. I have never heard any of the music off of that album. It makes sense to do a full album reaction. It was only 40 minutes of music, uh, right? So I, I could do that. And, uh, uh, so we, we scheduled it, and uh, I recorded it yesterday. So here's what happened. I recorded it yesterday afternoon, and it ended up being about a 52-minute video. And uh, we took some time to, to edit it, to get it together, to process it, to upload it, to get it set for YouTube. Because I wanted to set it, because it's such a special episode, I wanted to set it for a specific time today that was going to be set for premiere, so that I could hang out with all of you and listen to uh, the entire album again for a second time and enjoy the experience with all of you on this, the 50th anniversary of the album's release. It was not to be, though. So as soon as it uploaded, how many uh, songs are on that album? There are seven songs on that album. Y'all, this is why we don't do uh, full album reactions very often on uh, on the YouTube channel is because of the copyright bots. So immediately before I even said it was able to set it, as soon as it finished processing, before I was able to set it for uh, debut today, this is last night, right? Uh, I got seven different copyright claims on each of the seven songs. And in each case, uh, the idea was, I want to go back to it actually, because I want to make sure that I am talking correctly. Y'all aren't going to believe this. So we got automatic blocks. So the bots do that. It's predetermined. So I got uh, blocks and it says that, um, let's see, it says that 37% of my audience based on watch time cannot view this video due to um, where they are in the world. So this is what happened. I'm, this is what I'm looking at. Uh, it, uh, it's blocked in eight territories. Only eight, but uh, those eight territories are the United States, <laughs> uh, Canada, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Northern Mariana Islands, American Samoa, Guam, and U.S. Outlying Islands. So anybody that's under American or Canadian uh, jurisdiction is not, a at least on their VPN, is not able to view this. Everybody else is, okay? So here's what happened. Um, I'm uploading the stuff and, uh, I got here. I might, can I turn it around? I don't know if I can. Can I turn it around? Look at all of those. The musical box, the return of the giant hogweed, the fountain of, uh, Salmach Salmachis, uh, all that sort of stuff, right? All, and, uh, and I'm going to turn it back around here. Okay. So all of that stuff gets flagged. My normal uh, and it's, it says uh, you, can, you can make it public, but uh, about a third of your audience will not be able to view it. And you cannot monetize it. I expected not to be able to monetize it, right? Because I'm using so much of, of the album. So I went ahead and uh, disputed all of those, which takes some time as well to do, right? 
Uh, and uh, normally, uh, with a dispute like that, once I dispute a copyright claim, the copyright holder has a 30-day period to uh, respond to that, whether they say, yeah, we really do want to enforce that, or no, you're right, uh, this is fair use, and, and we're, we're going to withdraw the claim. Uh, normally, it takes a couple weeks, especially, uh, to, um, to have people manually review that, but overnight, every single one of my... Um, my claims, my disputes, were manually rejected and reinforced, okay? So then what I did this morning was say, look, uh, here's what I'll do. I'll just remove the, uh, the monetization, okay? I'll just, because I'll, normally I'll try to turn it on just to see if I can, right? So uh, a couple weeks ago, actually, we did the, uh, the Gravedigger tune by Dave Matthews and we included Willie Nelson. That was blocked as well. What ended up getting that unblocked was when I removed the ability that I wanted to monetize it. When I turned the monetization off, then it got unblocked. So I thought maybe I can try that. So that's what I did on this one. And um, when I did that, it stayed blocked. But here's what happened. Like almost immediately, I start getting email after email after email, they are going through and manually now uh, re-rejecting each of the tracks that are included in this video. And by doing so, they are turning back on the monetization on my own video, and I am not allowed to turn it back off. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys, uh, the way that I explained it? Yeah. Let, me, let me try that one more time. I upload the video, I set it to monetize. They say, no, you can't. In fact, it's gonna be blocked in a third of, the, of, of your audience. I'm like, I'll dispute that. They're like, yes, we really mean that. I'm like, fine, I will remove the monetization. And they're like, no, you can't do that. You can't put it out and then just nobody make money. We want to make money on your video. So we're going to refile manual reviews and reblock it and enforce the monetization so that if you wanted to put it out to just those people that could view it, we're gonna take your money. And I don't have the ability to turn it off. It's nuts, y'all. How insidious at all. A guy is saying it's probably not manual at all. I looked into that, y'all. Check this out. So the, the, it tells me who did this. It tells me who is the people that are going through and doing it. The people that are claiming this, I mean, let me get back in here. Uh, da, 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 who rejected this? Uh, it was WMG, uh, it looks like, and this place called Laika Network, L-A-I-K-A. -A. Yeah, Jack, I think I need a little herbal help, I think on a Friday. That, that's gonna be exactly what the good doctor ordered after we get done here. So this group called the LAIKA, L-A-I-K-A -A network, was listed as being responsible for the manual blocks. So I looked them up. They are based out of Britain. And here's what they say on their YouTube channel, y'all. This is just amazing. It's, uh, they are um, advertising their services to content providers. I'm like, I'm a content provider. Uh, let, let me see what this is up for me. So it says, increase YouTube channel income. We offer more ad formats than what you would get uh, with the YouTube Partner Program, which is what you know, I'm in. And uh, this results in a noticeable increase in your YouTube channel revenue. I'm like, all right, tell me more. And then the next thing they say is, you can generate income from third-party uploads. And this is what they, they, they advertise. As a content owner, you may notice that fans and third parties upload your videos or some of your content. We can monetize that content for you on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, if you scroll down, they have testimonials. And the first two testimonials are from Pink Floyd and Phil Collins Management. <laughs> so this is a guy from Phil Collins Management. They have Phil's picture on the, I'm not kidding y'all. They have, look at this, turn it around again. They have Phil's picture on the website, and Tony Smith of Phil Collins Management says, Like a Network has done a fantastic job in making sure that all of our titles are properly registered and that they are fully monetized to the extent that our income has quadrupled. It is an outstanding 
uh, service uh, that all the record companies have failed to duplicate. So uh, these people have um, taken the work that I did yesterday. It's, it represents about six or seven hours of work. I'm moving my camera around here. Sorry, y'all. Um, about six or seven hours of work. For commentary work like this, if I was going to sell it on the open market, I have a certain idea of how much my time is, right? And me putting it out on um, uh, YouTube uh, for free, basically, is uh, an, an effort to continue to grow the channel, right? I knew that I was going to take a hit. I knew that I was not going to be able to monetize this because of how many songs there were on it. But uh, uh, Pam, I don't think Phil Collins is behind this, right? I don't think Phil has any, I may be wrong, but uh, if Phil Collins's management has engaged people like this to monitor his videos, then why do people get to uh, like do reviews of In the Air Tonight and bring it back into the top 10 on the charts uh, and benefit to Phil, right? And get away with it. Right? Why is that? Uh, the, the copyright stuff that I'm seeing, y'all, has gotten, uh, as the channel has grown, has gotten more and more uh, insidious and more crazy than ever, uh, y'all. Um, it, it, it's, it's completely uh, off kilter. For example, it, it's hard to, um, we're trying to navigate as best we can. Right, we're trying to navigate as best we can and make decisions. Just this week, I was we did um, uh, Silent Lucidity. They have a lovely video that's available. I chose not to do the video because we've gotten hit for doing uh, reactions to original videos. Um, so we just did the audio version of it, and we were able to put it out. The same thing happened with the porcupine tree this week. They put out a an official video. Instead of using that and getting a, both of uh, an audio and a visual claim, we uh, we went with just the audio and gave you just a, a, an image of the of the album. Uh, I remember when I tried to put out a uh, my uh, Metropolis of uh, Metropolis Metropolis. Dream Theater uh, reaction, which is an hour and 42 minutes long, right? Um, that first got completely blocked worldwide. And then I put it on Vimeo. And then uh, like a week later, it got unblocked, but monetized to them, right? To, to, to Dream Theater's people. And then like a month later, all of that went away. And so now I'm actually making money on that one. And I have no idea why. It doesn't make any sense. Y'all, it's, it's complete and utter anarchy. And there's virtually no legislation that is helping this. And just so you guys all know where I'm coming from on this, it is my belief that in my uh, uh, effort to react to and analyze and sort of take you through a song, um, I am fundamentally improving, fundamentally altering, fundamentally adding to the original content, which puts it in the standpoint of fair use. The problem is the YouTube uh, platform itself. In almost every video, I give you a reference video to where you can find this same content on the same platform for free. As an end user, you can go to Nursery Crime on, uh, actually, I should look that up, y'all. Hang on a second. Uh, YouTube. I'm going to go to good old YouTube. And I'm going to look up Nursery Crime Genesis. Okay? And here are people that have the full album on. There's a, pro, there's a, um, uh, a channel called Prague Archives Music that have put just the audio of the entire album on their own channel in a playlist. And it's available to view in the United States. Uh, let's see. Uh, Genesis has their own, which is what I linked to in this particular thing. Here is a place called Sev My Leif, who has posted one video of that's 40 minutes long of just the audio. These are people that definitely lifted Genesis's music, did nothing to it, put it out on their own channel, and it's available. 
for, for people to view for free in America, and it's not blocked. It's just odd how all of this happens. John has a question. Yeah, we have um, one guy commenting. Um, two things I think are really important. Uh, Tony McDowell, um, most recent comment, has written the DCMA causes platforms like YouTube to block first and ask questions later, mm -hmm. which is something that I want to make sure to include in this conversation. Yeah. Also, we have a good amount of people bringing up Rick. And all ah, Rick Beato. Yeah, he's had trouble with this too. I am in agreement with, with our good friend Rick Beato, y'all. When I put out a video like this one that I was planning to put out today, Nursery Crime, right? Where I am talking over the music, which some of you guys uh, think I do way too much of, right? <laughs> you guys just hush, right? I'm paid to talk for a living. Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I put that video out, it is my belief that I am in no way infringing upon Genesis or their production management company on their right and their copyright rights. It is, it is fair use. It is, we're discussing art and we need the art to be there if we're going to discuss the art and its meaning for us. The problem is that the site is micro monetizable and the music is available for you guys, the end users, for free on the same platform. They just make you watch an ad, maybe. Or you pay a premium, you might, to, to have uh, uh, ads blocked or you find a way around that, right? But when, when that happens, you know, I would be happy to, to share my revenue with Genesis if I was allowed to, uh, to, to monetize the, 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 uh, the video. I would be happy to share maybe up to 10%, up to 15%, but it's my um, intellectual property as much as it is theirs. So I don't really understand. And the only thing that's going to, to, to help this is if the American Congress, which is inept on any good day, uh, gets their heads out of their asses and and figures out uh, who uh, should earn what, who is entitled to what, and and really help us out because it's the wild wild west out here, and it's very difficult for us to have a a functioning business model. This has become our business, right? This is what we do for a living now. I don't get to teach at the college level anymore. Uh, this is my teaching outlet, right? This is what we do to earn money, y'all. Uh, so that's why the Patreon is so important, and it's why our new memberships here on YouTube are so important. Uh, buy a T-shirt or something. That's what helps us uh, be able to to keep doing this, even when we have the majority of the videos that end up being not monetized so or not being able to be monetized. The constant that's dependable right now in this mercurial, yeah. as some people have been saying in the comments, shoot now, ask later yeah. state of YouTube. The other thing that's really, really strange is that they give so much power to the people who are uh, the other channels who are trying to enforce their copyright. YouTube stays completely out of it. I've talked about this a little bit uh, in the past. Um, that um, YouTube uh, allows somebody else to claim whatever, and I can dispute it, but it's up then to the people that filed the initial claim to say yes or no. And YouTube's like, well, they said you used it, and so we're going to side with them. It's really a problem. It's really a problem. I mean, and this is 50 year old music, y'all. This is music, and it's still under copyright. I, I fully acknowledge that, but. I have not simply copied their album and put it out on my own channel in an, in, in an attempt to make money by not fundamentally changing any, any of it. Um, I want to love YouTube because that's where all the people are, but uh, they make, gosh, they make it hard, y'all. So it's been a tough day. I've wasted most of my day fighting with these people. So I just wanted to come on and let all of you know what was going on because it's a fascinating story. Um, I have uh, uploaded it to my Vimeo, my Vimeo account. I have put a note, uh, a community post on my YouTube that tells you uh, where it is, gives you the link. It is uh, available publicly on my Vimeo, so you can watch it there if you would like. And we have a great time. 
Uh, what were you going to say, Meg? Just, I saw someone uh, mention about copyright law mm -hmm. leaving too much room for interpretation. That's mm -hmm. the problem that we're dealing with because it's like the wild, wild west. It really of. is. Yeah. You know, because uh, if, if I put up something on YouTube that people can view for free, basically, and somebody else puts up something on YouTube that people can view for free and the content is similar, who gets what? Uh, you know, I have nothing wrong with people going to Genesis's music, their playlist, uh, and listening to their music and it, and uh, enjoying it. I also have no problem with people coming to my channel and experiencing the music with my commentary. It's two completely different products. And I, like I said, I would be willing to share uh, revenue with them. They actually have come out and told us uh, that uh, they're 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 working on some sort of sharing mechanism, but what they're working on would give me would give them like ninety percent and me like ten, which I think is completely backwards. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I I've got a little bit of time, y'all. Does anybody have any other questions or concerns or um, you know, you know, just want to chat or anything? Because it's Friday afternoon, and I was expecting to hang out with all of you guys and have a good old time. Uh, and now I see that you guys are going to Vimeo. Uh, that just popped up on my uh, on my little channel here. So uh, maybe I should just shut up and let you guys go watch the the the, uh, <laughs> the, the video over on Vimeo. But uh, that's what we're doing. It's the 50th anniversary of Nursery Crime. I've never heard it before. I listened to it last night. I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, Jack. All the songs uh, were separately uh, and individually claimed. Um, as I did this and, and not only did they, uh, they actually blocked it twice, <laughs> you know, is basically what I'm saying. So thank you all for, for saying to hang in there. It's, it's nerve wracking and it's, 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 it causes, you know, you know, crap, but you know, we're doing it. Uh, Canigo, uh, the link is on my community post. I posted it before I went live here. Uh, what was your uh, thought? We have a couple of people asking for a Rick Beato collab. When? I've never uh, talked to Rick. I've never connected with him. I think it would be fun to do um, a great conversation. Uh, a, a, mm. At least a conversation about this particularly. Maybe it would be my end there. Bring, you can bring your perspective to it. For sure. Your uh, I don't want it to be yeah. like you know an hour long bitch fest though. I mean because I don't. I mean I I like that you guys are supportive and I know that there is another point of view like the point of view of of Leica, <laughs> who who did the blocks on behalf of genesis um, they do have i mean it, it's it's a very legitimate have, business model yeah absolutely it's a legitimate business you know model. it's just yeah. I, I i wish that youtube would be more uh supportive of their content creators and have a better policy around this one that actually makes sense for everybody and i don't think that it does which is why I think that it's uh, at its core uh, unfair for people like me. I'm not trying to uh, usurp Genesis or any other band. The same thing has happened to King Crimson, you know? And uh, some people have said, well, why don't you try like little uploads of stuff and see it before you spend all of this time uh, into building these videos if it's gonna be blocked or not. Uh, that's inconsistent as well. And it's 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 always a crapshoot. When I tell um, uh, people what I do for a living that don't understand it, I say it's like going fishing. You 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 have to get up, you get dressed, you get your bait, you get your tackle, you get all of your stuff. You drive to the lake, you sit out on the boat, and you put uh, the bait in. And you never know if you're going to catch a fish or if you're, if the fish aren't going to be biting. It's generally like that for me on a daily basis. I put in the work. We record the video, re-edit the video, we put it up, and sometimes it gets blocked, and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, none of my, by the way, none of my other Genesis stuff has been blocked. Not a one. Um, but this one has, for some reason. And it's, it's just weird, it's inconsistent, it doesn't work for anybody, and it, it just adds confusion and uh, disillusionment and a little bit of anger and uh, it has people left going, what do we do, right? This is, this is a, a really neat product in a really neat series. We very much like it. Yes, Jack, it's a crime spelled C-R-Y-M-E. That's funny. Um, you know, 
as I progress as a channel, I see it getting uh, more cutthroat and, and worse because people think, I, I guess they can make more money off of it. Uh, the more views we get and the more subscribers we get. Uh, That's it, why the block doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does seem, yeah, even that, if they, if they want, I mean, this is the thing that drives me crazy the most, right? The second time they came black, back and manually blocked everything, they could have allowed it, and they, hmm, let me back up. When they came back and they reinforced the copyright stuff so that they would make the money and make me do it, right? If I was to put this out, I don't have the choice. I cannot turn the monetization off now because of what they've done to it, which is nuts. Why should they be able to set the monetization settings on my own video? I don't get that either, right? Uh, but it's... Why would they? Why would they uh, still make it blocked? Why, if they're going to enforce this, where they make money on this video, why wouldn't they want anybody to be able to view it? Right? It doesn't make any sense what's going on, and I'm just throwing up a flag, saying this is what I see. I wanted just to let you guys know so that you know what's going on in the background. I'm trying not to be too angry about it or too vindictive about it. It is what it is, but. Um, it's information that I believe you guys should uh, know about. Question. Just want you super quick, if you would like to, to comment on on the fact that um, Genesis is the content creator, but what you bring to it, because they are the content creator, mm. but you're not just putting their music on your channel yeah. by itself. Yeah, this is the exact same thing that I would do in a classroom. Y'all, I'm a yeah. teacher, I'm a college professor. If we're going to, I don't know how many YouTube videos I have played in the classroom for paying customers to have me teach them about what's going on and connect it to stuff that we've been doing in the classroom. That is considered fair use. And I have, uh, I don't know why uh, that my particular channel here on YouTube, just for example, can't be considered in the same uh, way of what I'm doing here is basically fair use, a fair use usage of existing art that is available for free on the same platform to its end users. The simple and corporate answer is that when you're in a classroom, that's just a handful of people, yeah. whereas this is YouTube and anybody can see. When it. I file my disputes, I don't say that I'm that it's a reaction video. I say it's an educational video. Right. And it still doesn't mean anything. It's yeah. really uh, an, an odd thing, y'all. We've been going on, good Lord, it's almost 30 <laughs> minutes. Y'all are still here. I love all of you guys. Thank you for, for, uh, for hanging out and, and, um, and chatting and listening to me, uh, rant. It's, 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 um, it makes me feel, uh, loved and nice and all that sort of stuff. Any other questions that I've missed? I think we're going to, we're in, uh, we're in, we're in commiserating territory. We're in commiserating yeah. territory. Y'all. Arrow, Arrow, uh, Arrow says, if only you could survive solely on Patreon, the content is amazing. Well, so. if I could survive solely on Patreon, I don't know what we would do. That'd be a lot of fun. So <laughs> if you would like to support me, the Patreon, the highest level is only five bucks a month, y'all. And you get access to everything that we do behind the scenes on Patreon. On Patreon. So uh, if you would like to do that, it is, uh, it is a, a very lovely uh, community, a very supportive community, and we are, um, ooh, somebody says, react to Zappa talking to Congress. Mm. Oh. I, was about to, I was about to bring that up. Zappa talking to Congress? I wonder if wow. I'd get a copyright claim on that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Uh, maybe we will. Um, I have no idea. So I think I'm done talking now. Y'all, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, if you would like to view this video, it is available on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com. The link is, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll edit this after the fact and put the link here in the description box. But if you want to go look for it, it is uh, in my latest community post on my YouTube channel. I wish you all a happy Friday, everybody. And uh, we will see you next time on The Daily Doug, right? We'll keep coming back. We'll keep trying. So, ah, oh, Arrow, thank you. The, the link is in the directory as well. Great stuff. Thanks, y'all. We will see you uh, soon along the way. Make sure you tune in on Sunday, and we'll uh, we'll tell you what we got uh, planned for this coming week and see if any of those get blocked. <laughs>
get blocked. I was really looking forward to this as culminating a really awesome week. This week has been so good. We worked yeah. so hard to try to figure out which songs would make just a really great week. We started off with um, Mastodon for the first time on the channel. We did uh, some Super Tramp, Porcupine Tree, Silent Lucidity, and Nursery Crime. It's just... It's great. So, here's the thing, y'all. I am going to keep the YouTube video private because I don't... Uh, our friends in Europe and around the world that's not America or Canada could view this, but I really am not in the mood to make money for the people that are claiming the money on this. And, and, they're make, and, and if I was to make it public, I know that my video would be making them money. And I just am not in the mood to to have that happen. So I'm going to keep it private on YouTube. If it gets unblocked magically at some point, we will release it when that happens. But for now, it's available over on Vimeo, uh, where the YouTube bots cannot reach. So thanks, everybody, for being with us. And uh, we'll see you along the way. Cheers.